गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द पेंटागनल पिरामिड फॉर दिस वन क्वेश्चन इज गिवन सो वी विल सी द क्वेश्चन ए पेंटागनल पिरामिड ऑफ बेस लेंथ 30 एमएम एंड एक्सिस लेंथ 70 एमएम इज रेस्टिंग ऑन इट्स बेस ऑन हॉरिजॉन्टल प्लेन विद वन ऑफ द बेस एज पैरेलल टू वर्टिकल प्लेन एंड इट इज कट बाय सेक्शनल प्लेन पासिंग थ्रू द पॉइंट ऑन द एक्सिस लेंथ एट 20 एमएम फ्रॉम एपेक्स and makes an angle of 45 degrees with the horizontal plane so draw the developments of that pyramid so this is the question based on this question we will develop the pyramid for this condition the pyramid is given that it is resting on the base and when it is resting on the base with condition one of the edge parallel so top view is the true shape for it and we have to draw the top view first and then go for the front view diagram and later on go for the development so in the top view what is the shape that we can get is that is pentagonal shape so you can see the uh, pentagonal shape so of the piece. so this is the pyramid and top view for this is uh, this uh, this is the top view so in the top uh, when you see from the top view so you will get the pentagonal shape with apex so that we have drawn here and one of the edge is given it is parallel to the vertical plane so first to, to the xy axis line draw parallel line and below to the axis line that is the horizontal plane above is the vertical plane so top view is on the horizontal plane that is why you are drawing the top view below to the xy axis line with one of the edge parallel so first draw the parallel line first with the 30 mm so length of that uh, base length is given 30 mm so draw the straight line of 30 mm length and included angle for this pentagonal pyramid is uh, 108 so from these two ends take the 180 degrees and to also this side also 180 degrees and draw the two lines with the length this length is equal to 30 mm and length of this one is also 30 mm with the same length 30 mm take the compass and cut the uh, arc here uh, similarly from the third point also draw the arc here so intersection point you will get so join that one so finally you will get the pentagonal shape here so use two h pencils only first and then after uh, required lines should be drawn with h b pencil so you got the pentagonal shape. Uh, then go for the uh, center point of the pentagon so apex point you have to find so for that purpose uh, from any two corners you can draw the medians so from this corner point just i am drawing the median line and from this point also drawing the median line so you got the intersection point here and this is the center point and through this through this center point just you join all the corners So already these corners are done, and uh, remaining two lines uh, join to the corners. And from this center point, just draw the axis line. So what is the length of the axis line? Length of the axis line is given 70 mm in the question. So uh, take the length of the axis line. Axis line 70 mm. And from all the corner points. Just to project the lines to the axis line. So from one, two, three, four, and five, you got the projection lines and join on the axis line. So this is the base. So you have to join here. And here in the front view direction, this is the front view direction. So you, one, two, and three are visible, and four and five are not visible. Based on that only, how to represent the Lines. So, with the uh, given projection line, join all the projection lines to the apex point. As it is the pyramid, just to join to the apex point. So, you will get the triangular shape with the slant edges. So, in this diagram, one, two, three slant edges are visible, and four and five are not visible. So, based on that, I'm giving the dash lines here for four and five. And uh, two is also axis line. That is why no need to dark that one. So only axis line is represented, and one and two, three are uh, drawn with the dark. And uh, come to the 
top view diagram from the apex you will get the uh, edge lines to all the corners so if you see here so from this apex point all the corners are joined with the edge lines that is why in the top view diagram so from the apex point or from the center point just draw dark lines only edge lines are base lines are dark and from the apex point to all the corners are dark so to get this center point you are drawing the medians but this is not the edge line that is why these two lines are just taken light and so whatever the intersection uh, sectional plane is there that is considered on the front view diagram so here the question is given it is cut by sectional plane passing through the 20 mm distance from the apex so from this apex uh, identify the uh, 20 mm length and at this length take the 45 degrees of inclined line and draw the sectional plane so 45 degrees of inclination and that is passing through the center 20 mm distance from the apex based on that condition here and this portion and this above portion is removed and below portion you have to develop so this uh, uh, this portion is drawn with uh, two edge pencil only and uh, below to this one is the dark line that is to only edge lines don't dark these lines only edge lines are dark lines and these are the invisible lines that are not seen directly so you indicate with the different way. so this is the front view and this is the top view of the uh, pyramid and now how to develop this one and to develop the pyramid we are using the radial method for the development of the cylinders and uh, prisms we are using the uh, parallel line method but in case of the pyramids we are using the radial line method so you have to draw the arc and arc length is measured from here so here these are the slant edge lines but these are none of these lines are true slant length to get the true slant length uh, make it one of the edge line parallel to the plane so you are converting this edge line to the parallel line and projecting upward and uh, you are drawing extra line which is true slant length if you consider this one all these are equal in length all these are equal in length but when you are seeing from the front view none of the edge is seen uh, true length that is why in order to get the one true length is possible when this edge is exactly from the viewer it is should be parallel to the plane only that is why then only you will get the true length so for that purpose only to get the true length this one of the edges uh, rotated parallel to this one and getting the true length after getting this true length take the measurement of this one from this uh, way and take one of the center point anywhere on the space from this center point draw the arc one arc take the length of this one is the uh, equal to the length of this slant length and draw the arc with that uh, radius and uh, this length where should we complete that length that will be uh, seen later but just uh, you keep it uh, open only but we will start from this point and draw the arc one arc and this bottom line should be drawn with the base so this base see the base how is the base whether the base is circular or with the straight lines so this base is straight lines only 1 to 2 straight line 2 to 3 straight and all are five straight lines and length is equal to 30 mm so transfer this 30 mm length on the base so from 1 to 2 just draw the arc 30 mm and next 30 mm like that just make the five sides equal uh, five sides of equal lengths and uh, wherever the fifth point is fifth edge line is there from there just uh, you close the a diagram up to the apex point so you start from here and from this point this is the last point so from the last point you join there so you got the intersection point from each and every intersection point just draw the slant edge lines up to the apex point with the two edge pencil only use two edge pencil and you got the triangular faces like this all triangular faces you got but this was cut by sectional plane so that cutting points you have to identify so from this front view diagram 
mark all the intersection points so one line is there here so on one line it is cutting here like that number of cutting points are there so all the cutting points you transfer on to the true length first to, uh, take on the true length from the true length only you have to measure the line lens and transfer on the surface right now so one line is here so uh, measure the length from the apex go to one and transfer on the line one so this is one line and last one is also one line so you mark at a time on the two lines similarly second line is the mid line so here so this is the second point so measure the length from this one and transfer on the second to two and the third one so this last one is the third one that is uppermost one intersection point so measure this one and transfer on the third line and fourth one is this one so intersection point is this measure and transfer on fourth and then after last one fifth line so fifth line is intersecting here so measure the length from here to here and mark on the uh, fifth line of this one so after identifying just uh, you got the intersection point just join all the intersection points and then after all the border lines and bottom edges are straight lines so draw the straight lines only don't uh, leave the circular curve because it is having hexagonal base with straight lines so hexagonal uh, so pentagonal base with straight edges so straight edges only you have to draw below and uh, below to the cutting section only you have to make the dark lines and above to this one this is the removed portion so this is the imaginary portion only so don't uh, make this uh, lines as dark only to expensive you use for the above and only this below under this line only how to make it is uh, highlight so that is with the hb pencil and this is the development and uh, draw the base also base when it is closed by this bottom is closed with the uh, plane so that plane is exactly pentagonal plane only. so to represent that pentagonal plane you can draw anywhere on this side so you can draw here here or here at any place so i have drawn here at the end of the uh, development of that side so this pen pentagonal pyramid pentagonal shape that pentagonal shape you have to draw uh, using the same measurements 180 degrees of included angle side length 30 mm like that you complete the uh, base so finally uh, this is the development and with the base so this is cut portion after uh, cutting the sectional uh, after cutting by the sectional plane on this solid so this is the development of the pentagonal pyramid thank you